Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I recently, well fairly recently, made a video playing through The Sims 3 Roaring Heights and taking a look at a world that's almost 10 years old in 2022. And today we're doing the same thing with Sunlit Tides. So similarly to Roaring Heights, I've never played with this world before. Literally just installed it from The Sims 3 store for full price. So that's what we're doing today. We're taking a look at Sunlit Tides basically. Even just the world map is pretty impressive. I wonder if that's interactable, that little shipwreck. It kind of, I feel like this is supposed to be Hawaii, maybe? This is pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm seeing lots of swimming pools. It does look like quite a small world, though. Not, um, doesn't look anywhere near as big as Roaring Heights did. Uh, this time, I'm not going to create a sim to play with. I'm going to see if I can find the Pleasant family. Because I know they live here somewhere, so I want to play as them. So I guess let's just try and figure out where they live. Yeah, even like the names, there was a family, the Kahali family. It's giving me real Hawaiian vibes. The Wahini family. <laughs> Beach bums. Does anyone live here on this secluded? Oh shit, there's an inter- Hang on a minute. Oh okay, I was wrong about the size of the island. I was literally just looking around this bit where the volcano is. But I've just noticed an entirely another island over here. Oh, here we go, right tucked away in this corner here, right next to the volcano. The Pleasant family. Let's go. Oh, Mary Sue's crying for some reason. Trouble in paradise already? Oh, oh look at them, they look so happy. Before the kids came along and everything got ruined, why don't you guys have your very first kiss? Oh, Mary Sue learned that Daniel is a great kisser. Well, they're married and they've only just had their first kiss, so I can only assume that they don't believe in uh, woohoo before marriage. And Mary Sue is a hopeless romantic. Oh, how things will change. Let's take a look at their crib. Pretty nice. Pretty swanky. Do they have their own sauna? Oh, shit me. They have their own sauna in their house. Where did all that money go, guys? Well, I suppose they do have quite a big house in Pleasant View, but man, this house is nice. They have a beach on their decking, a beautiful view of the sea or the palm trees, and then this cliff here that they can just fall off if they have an argument and say it was an accident. All right, well, I think, uh, let's see if we can find a volcano. Let's check out the volcano. Aha! Uh -huh. Turns out the volcano is a place of work, the lair for the criminal career. This is some real Dr. Evil shit. Oh. Oh, I can't really do anything. I can only if I join the criminal career. What an entrance. You know what? It's nice to know that the criminals of sunlit, of sunlit Tides take their jobs seriously. They're not hiding out in some basement. No, they're making a show of it. They want to be seen. They want to be known. And who can blame them? Well, we can go to a park. Oh, the overlook. Let's check out the overlook. Should we take Danny with us? Sure. Oh, I can assume that they're on vacation. And this is maybe a vacation home. Are you going to drive? Oh, I think she's... Are you really going to run all the way there? I guess so. I guess so. Simpler times. No need for wheels. I like that. Okay, here we are. The Overlook. This is a very pretty lot. Oh, look at that. Could stand on the bridge and look at the lily pads. I do feel like... And I said this when I was playing with Roaring Heights as well. I've always said The Sims 4 has the most beautiful worlds and it does like the set dressing is very nice but i think i did overlook how pretty some of the worlds in the sims 3 are because some of these places are genuinely really beautiful to look at um well i'm starting to see the start of the problem here mary sue is using a laptop working and daniel's attention has been taken by miss pearl yang so these are the problems before the sims 2 we're all witnessing this in real time Oh, I think this is the actual lookout bit. Oh, wow. I think this person is like painting from reference or something. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this, this world is so much better than um, Sulani. It's the only one I can really compare it to. Sulani is very beautiful, but my God. This world is huge and so picturesque. Okay, where else should we go? Where else should we go? Let's try and do like uh, bit by bit. So we'll stick to the mainland for the time being. There's this restaurant up here that's like nestled in the hills. So we could check that out. They've got some... Oh, I don't think there are hot tubs, just swimming pools. Even a little um, tweaky graveyard. 
with a statue of the Grim Reaper. <laughs> so people know exactly what they're coming in for when they walk through those gates. So pretty. Oh, also, just a, a side note. Sunlit Tides is one of those really annoying worlds that I couldn't just pay for. I had to buy fucking sim points. And the way they sell sim points is like, there's more value for money if you just buy like a load of them. So I ended up getting like 40 bucks worth of sim points. So I have enough for another world after, after this one. So if there's another world that you'd like me to play through, then uh, let me know because I, I have the, uh, the sim points ready to go. So Monte Vista looks quite nice, as does uh, Midnight Hollow. So you guys just let me know. What is this, a restaurant? Oh yeah, it's a restaurant. So it looks like with this world, most of the dining experiences I'm seeing are more like The Sims 2. You actually sit with them. Well, let's go here, guys. Let's go here and get something to eat. There aren't many rabbit hole diners, which is nice. There's quite a lot of little restaurants along here. Yeah, number one right here. Lots of restaurants along the beachfront. Oh, she's having a blast. Oh, well, so am I, Mary Sue. You and I have that in common. Go for a nice little picturesque drive. The game is a bit laggy because of course it is, but you know, what do you expect? It's The Sims 3. The lag is partially my fault, I'll admit, because I forgot to um, turn all of my other packs off, so I do have lots and lots of content installed. Wait though, is this a cafe? It said it was a cafe, but I see no means of getting food. There's no like food bar or anything. Guess we'll just patiently wait. There isn't even anyone running the bar. This may have been a wasted journey, but you know what? At least we got to see more of the island. Unless, unless this guy works here. Oh, Griffin Alto. I know you. Yeah, no one works here. This was a waste of time. Oh, I'm embarrassed I brought you guys here. I'm sorry. Oh, is that the school? I want to take a look at the, uh, the school. This is the Island Academy. It's the school where all the kids go, apparently. You can see their little playground, their little seating area. School bell. I can't see inside. They've completely secured it. All of the windows are boarded up. Maybe they just get a lot of perverts around this area. I don't know, but I, c I cannot see jack shit what's going on in that school. Which is fine. I shouldn't be looking. Quite isolated, really, isn't it? Oh, there is a beach close by, so maybe they can go see the beach. That is the Sunlit Tide City Hall. I like the building aesthetic. They have... Kept, kept it consistent, because it looks kind of like the school does. Right, let's go to the beach. Maybe we can woohoo in the sea. Can't remember if you can do that, so maybe we'll put that to the test. Mary Sue, come on, get in, you lazy slag. All right, we made it to the beach. We can sun lounge. Oh, is that a starfish? What the fuck is that? Oh yeah, it, it, it is a starfish. I didn't realise the water came so far out onto the sand. For a second there, I thought that was like a crawling octopus or something. All right, guys, go swimming. Oh, the sun's starting to set now. It's looking pretty beautiful. Come on, Daniel, don't be shy. Yeah, the tide has uh, come quite far out. She's having to walk quite a way. Come on, guys. Look how far we are from the beach, and we're still not in, like, swimming depths. Okay, there we go. Mary Sue is... So can you guys, like, fool around? Oh, they can't even fool around. And I don't think they could swim um, in the buff either. I'm sure. Maybe I'm getting it confused. Well, they can splash each other. Maybe I'm getting this confused with The Sims 2. Or maybe I have completely made this up. But I was sure there was a way Sims could interact with each other when they're in the sea. As in, you know, they couldn't woohoo, but they could be seriously... On the cusp, like having a, a raunchy kiss or something. You're gonna let him get away with that, Mary Sue? Splash him back! Splash him back! Yeah, that's right, you take that. Take that splash. Mary Sue is very pretty. I do have like a default skin and uh, eye replacement, but still, she's a very pretty sim. Right, guys, let's go home. Um, unless there is somewhere that we can enjoy the nightlife. I don't really see many... Many places that have their lights on, though, like a club or anything like that. Be good if there was like a tiki bar or something. There's a graveyard. I mean, this place looks fairly well lit, so maybe we could, um, we'll go to Starfish Sands Playground, although I don't really see the 
presence of a bar. That would be my one criticism of this place. Beautiful, but where, where is the bar? Where are the bars at? All right, let's check out the, um, the starfish playground. I'll come along for the ride after you've finished waddling out of the raging sea that hasn't... So this is the starfish playground. This is where everyone sits, and this is the pit where the children fight to the death. I, I know they're trying to go, like, with a certain aesthetic with this, but I can't help but feel like it kind, it kind of reminds... I've watched too much Squid Games, I think. Looks more like a battleground than a playground. Well, I mean, there is kind of a bar, so maybe we could um, have some drinks in here. We've had a very fun day. I feel like that we should maybe end it with some, uh, some woohoo, perhaps. Oh, I don't see, don't see any bed. Wouldn't it be great if they could just do it on the sand? Let's just go and have a nice drink. I feel like there's not as much to do here as there is in Roaring Heights, which makes sense because Roaring Heights was significantly more expensive than this one. But you know what I did notice? I looked on The Sims 3 store to see if there was anything important that I should see. And I noticed this lady here, who is part of the Kahali family, basically inviting Sims to Sunlit Tides um, for a job opportunity that is sponsored. So they'll cover your expenses and you can move to this beautiful island where all the houses have a view of the beach. But then I noticed this bit. Please apply in person at the lair. Look for a cleverly disguised volcano. So I was intrigued and thought, okay, let's see where this job opportunity takes us. And then I realized this is the lair, the, uh, the criminal place. I mean, whether it's cleverly disguised or not, I think is uh, up for debate. But basically, all this tells me is that all of the Sims who live here that are not locals are here to become criminals. This is some kind of drug island, I suppose. Just thought it was pretty interesting, because when I first saw it on the website, I was like... I thought, oh, maybe, maybe they own like some kind of resort or hotel and they're looking for people to come work there. But no, no. More drug sales and prostitution rings. But you know what? That's what I like about The Sims 3. It doesn't pretend to be family friendly. It doesn't try and be wholesome. It's very clear about its agenda. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should just go home. Um, go and relax in bed because we are happily married at this point. Have just a cheeky bit of woohoo. Maybe relax in the sauna and then we'll call it a day because there isn't really much else. Fret over commitment. <laughs> Applaud hard work. Let's woohoo. Yeah, there isn't really as much to explore, so I think um, we'll probably just leave these two in a good position. Maybe we'll check up on them again in a later video. <laughs> Aww. One thing The Sims 4 does better than any other game, though, purely because it only exists in The Sims 4, is first person. I don't think I could play The Sims without being able to go in first person anymore. It's so much fun. Oh, what should we do in here? Enjoy a refreshing steam. And Mary Sue, you can have a mud bath. It's got everything. Look, it's an all-in-one. There's like a little waterfall, a sauna bit, and then also a spot where you can have a, a mud bath. How relaxing. You guys going to go and relax? Oh, so relaxing. That's right. You've had a long day. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. I wanted to see what Sunlit Tides had to offer, and I feel like I've seen enough. As I said earlier, though, please let me know in the comments what other world we should look at. I kind of am committed to having to do this now <laughs> because of the sim points fiasco. So let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.